Grace and peace to you all, my beloved. This is Pastor Ping Pong. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the 24th day of the fourth month of the year 2020. By the grace of God, I am alive here and you are alive there. Let us give glory to God. My beloved, the temperature has warmed up a little bit. About 70 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere in the 22 degrees Celsius. I don't know about your temperature over there. Whatever it is, thank God that you and I are alive by the grace of God. That God has protected us and shielded us from this pestilence called COVID-19. Thank God for his protection. Our heart goes out to those who have contracted this virus. We pray that the Lord grant them a speedy recovery, that they will live and not die. And we pray for those who have already, who have died out of it, that the Lord will comfort the families of those who have died, soothe their sorrows and heal their wounds. So, my beloved, the Lord is good. Today I want us to delve into the word of God again, Psalm 119 from 105. Psalm 119. I love Psalm 119. It's a scripture that growing up, we were, you know, so many of us, little children, that is what we had a song where it's a lamp to my feet. A light to my path always. We sing that song. You know, it's a very powerful scripture that we were all made to study, to rehearse, commit to heart. And it has helped so many of us. I want us to feed on it today. Shall we? David said, Thy word is a lamp unto my path and a light. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Wow! Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Does he wear it on his feet? Or it is a lamp, it is that lamp. So he's saying the same thing, that it lightens his path and it also guides his feet, thy word. And the word of God does exactly that. Those of us who, if you have the word of God in your heart, it will guide you in the way that you should go. It will keep you and I from things that are displeasing to God. Remember, we came, we study, you know, if you are just listening, if you have not listened to the first sermon, we talked about six things, yea, seven things that God hates. And the seven are abomination unto the Lord. If the word of God is in our hearts, if the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path, the word of God will keep us from all those things that are abominable to him. See what David is saying? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, light unto my path. My beloved, it is good for you and I to have the Word of God filling us through and through. In the book of Colossians, Paul exhorts and admonishes the church at Colossae. He says, let the Word of God dwell in you richly. Let the Word of God dwell in your heart richly. You know, by that, your path will be lighted by that your feet will have a lamp it is my prayer that you and i will cherish god's word so much especially in this difficult time covid 19 don't you know that the word of god that is a lamp unto our feet a lamp to our feet and a light to our path will guide us away from where the COVID-19 is. 
The word of God will do that. If we have the word of God in our hearts, the word of God, that is Jesus Christ, indwelling us by his Holy Spirit, will guide us as a lamp and as a light to keep us from where the COVID-19 is. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God. Oh, it is my prayer that you and I will feed on the word of God. That you and I will gouge on the word of God. That you will allow the word of God to gouge us. That you and I will be drowned in the word of God. We will be drowned in the word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And then he said, I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. Oh my, I have purpose in my heart <laughs> to keep your righteous judgment. That's what David is saying. He's still talking about the word of God. He says, I have sworn, I have purpose in my heart to keep your word. I have kept purpose, I have sworn, I have vowed, wow, and I will perform it. So said, I've made a vow, and the vow that I've made is this, that I will keep your righteous judgments. Wow. Who is saying this? David. Thy word, because thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path, I have sworn and I will perform it. I have sworn, I have sworn, I have vowed, and I will keep it. I will do as I have sworn. I will perform it. What is it? That I will keep thy righteous judgment. He says, God, your judgments are righteous, and I will keep it. Your word is righteous. I will keep your word. I have vowed. I have purpose in my heart to do that. Wow, my beloved. These two verses, Psalm 119. If you and I will purpose in our hearts to do the same, my beloved, the peace of God that passes all understanding is what will be yours. Because the word of God that is so righteous will guide you as a lamp it will guide your feet as a light it will shed light it will brighten your path and it will show you where to go and where not to go hallelujah it will help you avoid the pitfalls it will help you avoid those rocky areas where the COVID-19 is hiding. It will guide you from all of that. The word of God. It is my prayer, my beloved, that you will make the word of God, you and I will make the word of God our delight. That you and I will make the word of God our delight. The word of God will keep you from sowing seed of discord. If the word of God dwells in your heart richly, it will help you to avoid those six things that God hates, yea, the seven that, is, that are abomination unto him. The word of God, which is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. The word of God that is a righteous, righteous and so holy and pure, will keep you alive from doing those things as listed in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. The word of God. David said, thy word, okay, I've turned around, so now I'm facing the sun, and so you can see I'm no more in the darkness. David said, thy word is a lamp to me.
be so to you and I, my beloved, today. And as we do that, the grace of God will abound towards you and cause you and I to shine in this world that is increasingly becoming dark and dark. Grace and peace to you. Bye-bye.